Welcome to Home Designs by Amanda. I'm Amanda, and um, today we're going to talk about planning. I'm, I'm kind of getting excited about this. I know that I've showed you planners in the past. They didn't seem to be like my more popular videos, but I'm pretty excited about um, the upcoming product that I have coming that I really want to get into showing a little bit more of the planners and the planning um, because I'm, I would say I'm a planner. I like planning out things. If I, if I have things planned out, I seem to get feel like I'm more productive and get a little bit more done. Try not to over plan though, because then if I don't get certain things done, then I get you know like feeling like oh, why did I get all that done? But um, planning it, it usually helps. And so I've been using this kind of a layout that I just print off and put it into a small three ring binder. I it's a half size sheet of paper. Um, and I have it all, like, I have this tracking section here, and then my weeks here, and then, like, a menu plan and stuff like that. And some days I don't even, or some weeks I don't even get it colored in or anything. Other weeks I have a good week and things can kind of look nicer. Um, and then this, I had this, um... I made this up to work on like my blog, my social media and all that kind of stuff, but I found that um, just having it a one month view seemed to work better for me. So I, I like that, so now I, I don't really need this sheet. Um, and then this, with this I write out more in my week, I haven't this, this is next week, so, um, or you'll be seeing this on Monday, so this is this this week but I don't this is Saturday I'm filming it so I don't have it filled all out yet but like things can get pretty tight in there so what I'm excited about is that I'm gonna stop using this and I'm gonna get this I'm pretty excited about this um because it has bigger it has the bigger sections and then I can probably f I'm gonna figure out ways that I can keep track my tracking on here in different ways and then um, you have your monthly view and your weekly view and it's about the same size as that I think it might be slightly bigger the binder size is seven by three quarters by eight and three quarters by two so it's a two inch high binder mine's not quite that big but um, this might give me a little bit more space for writing things in um, it's undated so the only thing on there is your Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday um, and then your months at the top so you have to go through and date it but that means you can start at any point use it for any year and um, so that's nice um, you get your monthly tab pages that go in front they're very pretty it's a the colors are Calypso Coral Emerald Envy Lemon Lime Twist Pool Party and Real Red so it's got some pretty colors going. Um, the binder itself is a gold. Na it's a it's a navy binder with gold dots all over it. So it's very cute. Um, you so you get um, your planning pages, your your um, monthly things. I'm not sure. I, they showed a video, uh, Stampin' Up! showed the video of it, which I'll link um, down below in the description box. But they never showed what this page is. And I'm thinking, this is just my thinking, I don't know. I'm thinking it might be on the back of your monthly pages. Because they didn't show that, but that's what I'm thinking. Because you're going to want your monthly page at the beginning of your month. So, that's just my thoughts on that one. Because I didn't see that one in their video. Um, and then here's the stickers. Um, they have some gold foil stickers and some just regular stickers. You get um, three little packs of post-it notes. You get these little um, folder, divider folders that you can stick little things in. And then these, which are going to be cute if you want to do some memory keeping while you're doing your planner. Or if you want to use it for other things. Um, I might see about all my tracking that I do um, down here, like in the bottom here. Um, I might try to condense it some and maybe do little note cards that I can stick in there and then just pull them out and do my um, tracking. Or I might see if there's a way that I can do it on here. Um, with that, this, so it's all 
it's a pretty very pretty planner and you get the things to make it your own but um, on top of that I decided that me I'm a stamper a little bit more I like to do a little bit more when I have the, the chance I decided between to get another um, stamp set that kind of goes with it I was torn between this one with the glamper greetings because it has all these cute little um, holiday-ish things. The sun definitely got me because I like to track my the weather some weeks when I remember to. Um, and so that can kind of be useful for that. Hopefully it's like a good size. So I went with, I did, I went with this one um, to use not only for the, because I just like the whole camper thing. Um, even though we don't have a camper. <laughs> Um, I liked that one. But there's also this one here. It's tabs for everything. And it had a cute little sun too. And then the little grocery cart. That would have been really cute if you know that you're going to the store a certain day. You can put that on there and stamp it like that or like the little birthday cakes. So this one is something that um, I might look into getting later. I just only had so much money and I was drawn towards the camper first. Um, and then another one that might work if you're into emojis, you might want to think about like the texture later one, which I like the emojis, but the rest of it, not really, it's something I need. Um, but for now, I'm just excited to get this and next, so what I'm going to do for the month of June is I'm going to do Planner Mondays. So I think I might start with June with mine, although um, July is typically when I start a new a new calendar binder or think about what I might want to do for a new one because that's when our school I homeschool so um, our school year starts in July and we go through June so I'm not exactly sure I might just stick a few pages in for the end part of June and then get into the July stuff or I might think about getting the refill so I have a few extra pages for the June and then it, I'll have some for later but I'm also wondering I don't know this I have no clue what they're doing but they might have like another color scheme in like the occasions catalog later I don't know but for now I'm I like this one and I'm looking forward to unboxing it with you hopefully next Monday we'll do the unboxing together and we can get some so I hope going. that you'll come back each Monday this month to um, see how we work out the different things that we can do with this really neat looking planner. And I hope that you get as excited about it as I am. So thanks for coming to sort of create with me today. We'll see how it, it comes together as we go along this month. And I hope you come back again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.